Hey everyone, it's me Alna from twinsmommy.com and welcome back. For today's video, I'm going to share with you the number one type of affiliate marketing post that makes the most, most, most money for you. All right. Now, as a brand new blogger, when I first started, I didn't know much about affiliate marketing posts and all that. And like, I didn't know you can actually make money with affiliate marketing. It wasn't something that I really dived into, but over the years I figured it out. I started writing affiliate marketing posts. Some were hits, some were successes, some were misses. But the one type of post that really, you know, generated consistent income every single day, every month for years on end are the type of posts that I want you to start writing. So let me dive into that. I'm also going to share with you some other very high converting type of other affiliate marketing posts to help you to start your blog right. The one type of affiliate marketing post that you should have on your blog and have more than one and that make the most money are review types of posts. Now, why do review types of posts make the most money? Well, for one, it's authentic. You are actually using the product. You are showing behind the scenes of using it. You might show an unboxing of a product. You might show it in your living room if it's a vacuum. You know, if it's an online course, you can show the platform and the lesson behind it, after the, behind the paywall. These things are authentic and it shows your audience that you actually use the product and when you can show that your conversions go off like out, out of the room like it it really helps with that trust factor and i found that over the years especially with certain affiliates that i've used i use a lot of affiliates with amazon but i don't necessarily use all the products and so my amazon commission is low but for the post that i zero in on one type of product and I review it from head to toe, that makes me the most money. And if you can pair that with a keyword, then there you go. You can have it rank. So I'm going to show you one of my review type of posts. I have several on across different sites, but this one I have, and I optimize it as much as, the, as I can, you know, for the keyword that it ranks for, you know, I'm not number one, but I'm on the first page. And so I really worked heavily on this type of post and I did other things besides size just optimize it for keywords. So I have the post here with video with screenshots of inside, like I said, inside the job board. This is a job board, a paid job board. I show them that I have a profile, which means I have paid for this service. I have another video. I show insider, like insider secret of the job board there, the submissions. I go deep into that client orders, all of this. I have another video. I go into each part of this this type of a service. So it has a goal section, has a, a library, a university library section with educational courses. I talk about if it's legit. For a lot of uh, online courses, online services, people want to know, is this a scam? Is this legit? And so I try to cover that as much as I can. And then I have more questions that I answer. How much is it? And then you want to give it a try. So there are some key things in that review post that make it valuable to the reader. Uh, one thing is that I sectioned my review with the features or benefits of using that product. First, I want people to know what you get. And then within that, I share with you how you can use it to be successful. So like with the job board, this is what you have to look for. This is what you can find the potential type of leads. Look at the gigs that you can see that pay hundreds of dollars per post. I show them that to get them excited, but I make sure to go through each part of what they're going to get if they decide to, you know, sign up using my special affiliate link. That's key. The second thing is of course, using keywords to optimize my post so that it ranks in Google. You know, I do use Ahrefs, but there are other programs like Surfer SEO, SEMrush, Keywords Everywhere, things like that, where you can type in your main keyword and get related keywords that you can add to your post. You can also just type in your keyword in Google, look at the bottom, look at the people also ask and see like, what are people talking about? What words are they using? You know, using the word legit and scam were tied to my product. So I made sure to add that to my post. I didn't need a keyword tool for that. Making sure to 
exhaustively talk about the product. Now, there's a time and place that I've seen some products reviews that like are 20, 30,000 words and they go through every single thing because they think if they mention every single part of that service or product and they make it long form that it's going to rank. That's not the case. People aren't going to sit and spend 10 hours to learn about something like Jasper or to learn about this job board. They want a quick overview, but they want it detailed. And so that's why I started adding video to my reviews. This is a strategic strategy because Google ranks videos. All right. So depending on where you find my post on Google, you will find the video underneath it or above it, which is awesome. And I found as soon as my videos started ranking, I was getting more conversion. When you write your review post, try to see if you can create a video with it more than one. I had three or four and I'm planning on to make more so I can add them to my posts. It's very easy to make more videos because it'll just rank in Google or rank in YouTube actually too. Try that method to help you boost conversions. Now I want to share with you some other posts, other types of affiliate marketing posts that you should have on your blog that also do really well. The other one is a best of, but it's a best with one product. Okay. So over on Smart Mom Ideas, I have the best diaper cream or diaper rash cream. This was the only thing that worked. My my son had cradle, cradle cap, he had um, eczema, he had like lots of issues with his skin, very sensitive skin, and he suffered through diaper rash over the summer, that first summer. And so I tried everything and this was the one thing that worked for us. And so I decided to find a keyword with the word best in it because People who search for best of are in the buying mode. You know, when I was searching for strollers, I wanted to find the best twin stroller that was convertible, that could convert to other things, you know, that I wanted it to be lightweight, you know, the best lightweight twin stroller. Like I was finding all these different types of posts, but I used the best because I wanted to find out what was the best in their opinion. And I would actually go to different posts. So it's in the best interest when you write your best type of post that you answer as many questions as you can, because like I said, I was still looking at other people's posts to see which one was the best, what their recommendation was. So if you can somehow make them realize that you are a trusted source, that you have goods, that you can explain it, then that's going to help with conversions. So I have here, like I mentioned, you know, cradle cap there, eczema, like, and this is, I give them an answer right away. Like they can go and find it from Google and they're like, okay, this is what it is. And they can decide like, I'm going to go back and find some other thing because I don't want to use this. Or they might be like, oh, I haven't heard about this one. Everyone recommends this. Why is she recommending this product? And then she's the person or the man is going to read my post, hopefully to get an idea of what this is all about, right? Cause I try to go in and show them exactly how does it work? I answer as many questions. And then I list other ones because you never know, even though I term this post as the only option, because I think of myself of going back and forth to other posts, if I can just put them on my, on my page, they can at least look at it and be like, oh yeah, I remember I looked into Desitin. Oh, in the butt paste. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And they're going to scroll through that and they might like, oh, I haven't looked at Cetaphil. I'm going to click on the link to learn more about it. Or, you know, they could just go to another blog post and type in that review, Cetaphil review for babies. It depends on the product. This is a low priced type of product. I don't think consumers are going to go in that heavily into each product. If they can find one blog post that tells it like it is, it will convert. It's with those higher priced products products, something like the job board, which is a big investment, you know, you need more convincing kind of thing for something like this. You know, this seems to work this setup where I term the blog post as the best of, but then later on in the post, I give them other alternate options because that can work with conversions as well, but it's up to you play around, have a post with just the best of and go into that and then have another post of the best something, something and list all those. So all the best uh, diaper creams, I could have a separate post on that, but I decided to, to have this main one. I want it to be long form too, so that I can rank in Google. And then the other type of affiliate marketing post that you can have on your blog is that sort of roundup. I have the six best online childbirth class 
classes for pregnant moms. Again, this is keyworded to try to rank. It did rank on the first page a while back, but it's become more competitive, which is something that I need to go back and optimize this blog post so that I can at least be on the first page. But a lot of the affiliates that I am recommending are on the first page, <laughs> but I do recommend, you know, my top six here, but the the first one is the one where I want the most conversion. So for this, I will mention the COPA method in several of my blog posts. There was one that I did maybe in this one. Yeah, here it is. So in this one I did, but this one I'm like, have you signed up to an online birthing class yet? Check out the COPA birth class for a natural birthing experience. See, so I have a big call out right here. Plus the image so that people can, you know, stop and look at it. This person is, you know, has some questions about eating during labor. They're probably in their third trimester. Like they're thinking about the next part of their lives, the postpartum part. So maybe they need to sign up to an online birthing class, you know, to get them ready. I put it in this post, but that type of post is a good type of post because you can round up all the classes and then you can cherry pick the ones you want, put the one on top that either is the most conversions that make you the most money, whatever you decide or that you really Really like it as the number one spot because pretty much people will probably just stick to this number one and then you can link to it in other posts that are relatable you know I, I write a lot about pregnancy so this class is relatable to a lot of my pregnancy content I can look at my Pinterest analytics which pins are getting the most circulation on Pinterest that are getting the most views on Pinterest I can also look at my ads because I have ads which posts for my ads are getting the most views and I can drop that link in those posts because I'm getting the most traffic the most views on those posts, right? So that's what you want to do with your affiliate marketing posts. Once you write them, hopefully that helped you. Let me know in the comments below if this video helped you out, if you found some cool little tips for your affiliate marketing strategy. And if you're new to blogging, make sure you sign up to my free course, a start, grow, earn. It's a free email course. And I give you lots of great advice and tips and training to help you start your blog and be successful with gaining traffic and making money with your blog. All right. So it's a free course to so make sure to sign that up. It's in the description below. All right. And make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos just like this. I'll see you in the next video.